Concerning Namekano's case, uh, the judge uh, so the uh, suit says uh, be serious. Uh, DSS custody not five star hotel. Uh, judge tells uh, Namekano uh, and uh, his lawyer. Uh, the federal high court sitting in Abuja on Thursday was told by counsel for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano uh, Ifan Yejofo, that his client was having a bad time at the custody of the Department of State Services, uh, DSS. Ejofo said uh, before Justice Binta Iyanko that uh, the DSS was not uh, treating his client well in line with our uh, orders. Uh, we want to uh, ask the court uh, to order the uh, detainee authority to keep the defendant in a convenient uh, facility he is kept in a tiny place he has not been eating well he has been wearing one clothes since uh, he was arrested or was kidnapped and uh, is in detention our client is a jew uh, is not allowed to practice his jewish uh, faith uh, he contended uh, she uh, directed a for to provide evidence and uh, affidavit of fact uh, to portray his claims. However, uh, she directed the federal government and council, MS uh, Labaran, to inform the DSS to put Kano in maximum comfort uh, possible. Uh, DSS custody is not a five star uh, hotel unless I am given an evidence about what you are saying. Uh, file an affidavit of facts uh, to that effect. Uh, Mr. Ejofor, be serious in this matter. He is in a detention facility. There are certain things uh, that are not allowed there. I have visited uh, detention facilities in the United States and UK. Uh, the uh, judge said, okay, have you visited uh, an American where he is? That's the question I need to ask uh, the judge. You said you have visited f detention facilities in the United States and UK. You have, see, don't compare Nigeria detention to that UK. That judge, you have halted yourself a real lot uh, by comparing uh, uh, by comparing US. No, 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 don't even go there. If your uh, so-called lawyer uh, who is advocating for uh, a, a defendant, or uh, uh yeah a defendant really because uh, the government is the plaintiff uh you will you know come to that uh, level where you are uh, you ask questions or okay as a judge you have not even gone to see an american well uh, you might go you might not go it's not your uh, business but the basic truth is i don't compare united states and uh, uk uh, to uh, nigeria uh, i'm not talking about uh, in every ramification nigeria is nowhere to be found uh, so let's forget about that uh, earlier, Ejofo announced that he was in court over his application for abridgment of time following the adjournment of Kano's case to January 19th and 20th, although he said his application has been overtaken by events. He used the opportunity to urge the court to hear his uh, application challenging the uh, competency of uh, the seven count uh, terrorism charges filed against his client. Uh, but Labyrinth objected, adding that uh, the business of the day was for the cause to hear a geoforce application for abridgment of a time only uh, in a short uh, ruling Yanko advised uh, a geoforce to understand that she adjourned from november 10th to january 19th uh, because of the court's uh, busy schedule as well as it is a valedictory session holding in december and the christmas vacation which uh, terminates by uh, january 17th <laughs> she however uh, faulted him for being absent at the last adjourned date uh, the judge read out a uh, remaining uh, tight schedule for the year and uh, decided to reduce the time of adjournment by one day uh, that is january 18. <laughs> uh, what's the difference January is January, so as far as far uh, as we are concerned, uh, Kano was not uh, produced in court, and the judge said that uh, that was allowed because uh, uh, okay, sorry, Kano was not produced in court, and the judge said that was allowed because the business of the court was to hear solely his application for adjum uh, adjustment or adjournment of time. Uh, she held that the other applications by age of four can only be heard also be heard in the presence of uh, his client the application for adjournment of time can go on without the defendant but your other applications challenging the competency of the charge cannot be taken because your defendant is not in court uh, well if you are telling us that defendant is not in court who uh, who eat the defendant is he the counsel is he a job for who is the lawyer to namdekano either he the namdekano or the dss because i believe uh, you guys are just playing politics Yes, that's the irony of the truth. Uh, let the truth be said, because uh, as it is, 
you will be tied in yanko. You are you don't have uh, your submission. I do not hold water. Mm. I would hold you responsible uh, for all the things that have been happening in the courtroom. Uh, because as a judge, when you say you have laid verdict, uh, what does that simply mean? That you have come to an agreement or conclusion, and judiciary have its own power. No, uh, uh, I would say no presses mm. will now counter. What the judge has said is what has been said, and it is fine now. So, for you to have said that, uh, uh, Inamigano was not producing court. Why was he not producing producing court? That's the question. Now you gave order that uh, though Inamigano might be in detention, but the DSS uh, should uh, uh, put Kano in a very well uh, conducive uh, environment. And now you said you said it, <laughs> and this thing you said. It's just uh, playing to the gallery. You all know what is really going on. You understand? You are, you know, knowing the beats of your uh, paymasters. Yes, I am using that paymasters because they are much. Malami is just, you know, acting with impunity. Yeah, but there is nowhere to be found. So, uh, when uh, you have said that the uh, application for abridgment of time can go on without the defendants, but your other applications challenging the competency of the charge uh, cannot be taken uh, because your defendant is not in court. Uh, he said, I have had a thing uh, January. Okay, she said, according to her, the judge, I will take your pending applications on January 18th and then hearing on the trial, I uh, will continue on January 19th uh, to 20. Uh, she ruled. Uh, well, if uh, I would ask uh, George uh, Justice or George uh, Binta Iyanko, if an American were to be your husband, sorry, uh, yes, if he were to be your sis, uh, your brother, or dre your relative uh, in court, uh, would you keep, you know, well, I don't, I don't even believe you'll be in that uh, position that you are. But as it is, let's even forget about the sentiment, being your brother or not. Uh, the basic truth is that when you say a uh, court lay verdict as a judge, judge has a final say. Like I was saying the other time that the international lawyer uh, advocating for an American said the judiciary system of Nigeria has compromised, uh, which is too true. And what does that simply mean is that they don't have power of their own as it is. In this present dispensation, uh, it's only one person, uh, or let me say, it's only one entity that is controlling uh, all the opera status. Mm, ethnic group, uh, I would say the full and That's why uh, so many people have been, you know, complaining that uh, they, uh, I would say, they, they the full and or they, they the full and holding the government. I wouldn't say full and in general. Uh, they, the full and holding uh, the government. Uh, yes, uh, they uh, have, uh, you know, divided the country a uh, whole lot. Uh, that was the same thing. Uh, uh, prophet or pastor Kuka, I said, I believe that man is, is from the north, not, he's from the northern part of the country, uh, he's an house also, he's from the north, so he, uh, he was the one that said it, that uh, they uh, have really divided the country, and that's what he said, and uh, this is so, so, so uh, very, very appalling, and that's why they're trying to change the narratives and telling us that uh, Sunday Igbo and Nabdekanu are uh, the one trying to incite war, uh, to divide the country, to do all that. He, because they are guilty of those charges. Now, in Amkano, he's been presented in court over five times, and the uh, adjournment, adjournment, adjournment. There is no uh, a case file, as it is. Okay, even if there is case file, what evidence do they want to produce? And that is why they don't want uh, to uh, lay verdict in presence of so many people. Uh, they don't want uh, media houses. The little uh, media houses uh, that are designated, uh, designated rather, that will be there, uh, are, are being controlled by this uh, same gov uh, so-called so government. So they are trying to, you know, paint uh, the whole uh, scenario. You know, paint this whole scenario and don't they do, they do not want anybody to know what is really going on. And like uh, the international uh, lawyer to Nigeria said, hey, courtroom is not a secret court. Okay, even if you wouldn't allow most people to be in the uh, courtroom, okay, it's a federal high court. Uh, yes, there should be a broadcast. It should be, you know, televised. Yes. So people will know what is really going on. Televise it. Yes, not everybody can be in court. Though we said it's a public place, but if the capacity cannot contain uh, everybody, then you televise it, or rather, you you know show us what you guys have done in the court. Well, this is where I'm going to draw the question. I'd like you to share your views in the comment section. Thanks for listening, and God bless.